Guys, welcome back. Really quick episode. I just saw Iran with a 2-0 victory over Wales. Huge for the U.S. men's national team, who obviously before that result this morning controlled their own destiny. But even more so now, even if we get an adverse result against England, we completely control our own destiny, which is fantastic. I want to take a brief moment um, and address something that has happened in the last three or four days. The Giovanni Reina, Greg Berhalter fiasco. Okay. Yes, it is a fiasco. Yes, as fans, as casuals, as serious hard die hard fans, we have our opinions. And we would all love to see Gio in that game to come in and hopefully resolve it and get us three points as opposed to the one point that we ended up getting uh, against Wales. So, guys, I go back to intent. Okay. What type of coach is Greg Berhalter? Is he an attack minded coach? Which publicly he claims to be in all his presses from the inaugural one to today, or is he a defensive-minded coach? Well, the answer is very clear to me. Um, not just the Jordan Morris chosen over Gio Reyna to come into that Wales game, but with the intended lineups, okay? If you're an attack-minded coach, you don't put three destroyers or three types of midfielders that have limited creativity. I've talked about that forever. I'm not going to beat that drum right now, okay? It was clear the other day with I'm going to put my coaching hat on, okay, because it's easy as a casual fan watching the game and you want to get the three points to say, oh, go do this, go do that. Why not, Gio? Why not? Well, the coach chose Jordan, and it's very evident that he wanted a secure result. We're going to try and grind out the win. Worst case scenario, we ended up getting the point. Jordan Morris brings, not what he brings to the table, but he's a big body that can hold the ball. He's a big body that can help in set-piece defense. So Greg thought that this guy would help us. Uh, get the result. Geo is a lot of things, guys. And Geo has a lot of qualities, mostly offensive. What Geo is not is a grinder. What Geo is not is a dual winner. What Geo is not is a cage match uh, winner like uh, he's been discussed in the past. He doesn't bring those attributes. And to be honest, speculating here, Greg Berhalter, given the chance, would play Paul Ariola in that role over Geo because Paul Ariola stretches the defense with his runs. Ariola listens to the tactical instructions uh, that Greg wants, where Gio Reyna is more of a wild card type player, creativity off the charts, um, but he's not the typical U.S. soccer profile player that we've selected. And to be honest, guys, Gio brings a lot to our team in terms of those qualities that I said, but is he really surrounded the right way? Like I've mentioned with Christian, the answer is no. So, Guys, when the rubber meets the road, it's always these types of profiles that get selected in the big time games. No surprise to me that it was Jordan Morris, okay? No surprise um, when it comes down to those profiles. I could talk about uh, Cade Cow as opposed to Diego Luna for the diehards that follow this. Cade Cow will be chosen 10 times out of 10 when it comes down to it at the senior level. That's just what we believe in here. The MMA will be chosen 10 times out of 10. It will always be Weston McKinney over Richie Ledesma. Always. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And that's where the problem lies, okay? Um, let me check my notes here. Um, it's just disappointing, I think, to all of us that love the game. It's disappointing to all of us that want to see a different product in the field. But it's reality, and here we are. We are going to find out here in a couple hours uh, what Greg wants to do against England. Are we going to go attack? Are we going to be like Canada was against Belgium and go and get the result and go and look for the result? Or are we going to speculate and be a defensive uh, approach type level team? It's clear, guys. The decisions, talk is cheap. It comes down to it. Whoever meets the road, we always choose the profile of player that's going to roll up the sleeves in battle. It's going to go in crunching tackles. And that's not Geo. So, guys, listen. It's unfortunate that it happened here at the World Cup at the biggest stage that we chose Jordan Morris over Giovanni Reina. That's just the reality. Hey, I don't know what's going on in the coach's mind. Again, I put on the coaching hat, and he doesn't seem the normal great for a halter. He seems very, very trying in the press conferences. One or two word answers. Doesn't want to engage with the media. Even his buddies in the media, nothing. Cut and dry. Um, I've seen, I've seen a, a very different version of Greg. Not the happy-go-lucky that wants to engage in top football. Um, and that's the pressure of the World Cup, guys. Backs are against the wall. It's going to be a difficult game tonight. Um, we will obviously have the recap tomorrow. 
Let's enjoy this one and let's pray to God that we put an attacking lineup out and try to go toe to toe with England. Who should? Fantastic version against Iran. But in football, every game is different. I've already said it. Keys to the game. Let's, re- let's review. One, our press. Our press, our intent to go and stop England from building and connecting passes, which was going to create easy offense. Gio, is Gio going to go in, listen, and press for 80, 90 minutes? No. So don't expect Gio to start tonight. Probably be Brendan Aronson. Two, transitional moments. We are pinned back and we win the ball. Can we go exploit uh, Harry Maguire and Stones and, and Shaw and Trippier who are advanced up the field? Okay. And we've got to be good on set piece defense. We've got to contain and win duels one on one. It's going to be an interesting showdown. Okay. But guys, I just wanted to get that out there. Giovanni Reina, it's not a surprise to me that he wasn't included. I saw him, I was 10 rows out. He was warming up. He was fine. He was ready to play. And then we got Jordan fucking Morris. That's it, guys. I'm going to get to the next game. Ecuador Holland, mouthwatering. In my opinion, the top game of the day, obviously, not because we're USMNT fans, but in terms of football, it's going to be a very, very good and intriguing matchup. That's it for now, guys. Later.